Let's take a look at systems of linear equations, three equations, three variables by matrices on a HP prime graphing calculator. And I want to show two different ways of working these. First, I'll do both of these using one method, then I'll go back and, and show the other method. Okay, we got uh, 2x plus y minus 3z is equal to negative 6. And x plus 4y minus z is equal to negative 5. 8x minus y plus 5z is equal to 32. Double check everything. Okay, it looks right. Well, on our calculator, we want to be in the apps menu. If you're not, press your apps button. And we want to go down to linear solver. Now this is different than uh, linear explorer, so make sure it actually says linear solver and press enter. And it'll bring up and probably uh, two by two by um, by default, but uh, you can choose three by three. So I click that there. Now um, if you do edit, it uh, edits the current um, cell, but I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Uh, anyway, one three by three, and then we'll type in each number that's in front of a variable. So I do two, enter, one, enter. You notice just as I type it, it overwrites what's there. Uh, negative three, enter, negative six, enter, one, enter, four, enter, negative one, enter. This is the hardest part, actually typing these out without screwing it up. Negative five, enter, eight, enter, negative one enter five enter and thirty two enter now let me double check all my numbers negative six negative five thirty two negative three negative one five one four negative one two one eight and it tells us our answer is uh, x equals two y is equal to negative one z is equal to three usually you write this in um, parentheses around it so I got two comma negative one comma Three. And that's our answer. Okay. Let's look at our second one. We got x minus 3y plus z is equal to 8. And 4x plus y minus 2z is equal to 7. 5x minus y plus 3z is equal to 4. Let me double check my numbers. 8, 7, 4, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 1, 4, 5, 1, 4, 5. Okay. So let's go put this in a calculator now. I'm back in my first cell. If you're not back there, you can use your arrow keys to go back up to the first one. And we'll just start typing our numbers. So 1 enter, uh, negative 3 enter, 1 enter, 8 enter, 4 enter, 1 enter, negative 2 enter, 7 enter, 5 enter, uh, negative 1 enter, 3 enter, and 4 enter. Okay, let me check this. 874. 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 1, 4, 5. Okay, that looks right. Don't have such nice answers down below. I'll round them two decimal places. That's 1.45. Y is negative 2.86. And Z is negative 2.03. Probably... Um, you're not happy with uh, decimal answers. It depends on your where you're using this at. Um, but notice what it says, X, Y, and Z. So that's our solution. Let me go home. So I'll press the home button. And I'm going to do my vars. And you see I got linear solver as the first one there. So I'll press 1 for linear solver. And then you see I got, I got 1 for numeric. Now we got two options here. 
the first one, let's take a look at it. This is going to be our matrix. So if I do one for L system and then press enter, those numbers look familiar. 1, negative 3, 1, 8. Those are the original numbers we entered, wasn't it? Okay. Well, let me go back to bars. Choose one for linear solver, one for numeric. And now I'm going to choose two for L solution. That's our, that's our solution set. I'm assuming that stands for linear solution. And I press enter. And you see all our decimals. But once we got in this form, we can now press our fraction button. And that would be our answer. Uh, let's see, 42 over 29, comma, negative 83 over 29, comma, negative 59 over 29. Okay. Well, let's go back and rework these. So I got 2x plus y minus 3z is equal to negative 6. x plus 4y minus z is equal to negative 5. 8x minus y plus 5z is equal to 32. Now these actually used matrices to do this, but they did them behind the scenes so we wouldn't have to see it as much. It probably doesn't matter what mode we're in uh, when we do this, but I'm going to go to apps. I'm going to choose function. Press enter. And then I'll press my home to go back here. The reason why I say it probably doesn't matter is because you see the same same uh, results there. But anyway, I'll do it back. Okay. We're going to input this into a matrix. And how we do that is we, we drop the variables and equals and keep the numbers in our signs. So I'll have 2, 1, negative 3, negative 6, 1, 4, negative 1, negative 5. 8, negative 1, 5, 32. Double check all those. Okay. So I'm, a, um, I'm now, I've, I've done home. So I want to go into matrix menu. And I do shift 4 to go into that. And um, you see how I got M1 there? Um, you know, if you press delete, are you sure you're going to delete this matrix? You could delete it. You can edit it, you can change it to a vector, or I think this is sends it to a USB drive, maybe. Um, I'm going to leave M1 there. But let me demonstrate something. If I press delete here, are you sure you want to delete this? And I click OK. It doesn't actually delete the, the matrix. It deletes the, um, like if I go in here, let me go into M2. Edit, I guess. And I'll put some numbers here. Five. Two, three, so forth. Okay, I got that. Let me exit out. So I'll press my home and I go back to the matrix. Shift four. See, I got something there now. Press delete and I'll click OK and see it just cleans everything out. I didn't want to do that because this already had a pretty good starting place for us. Um, so I'm going to up arrow to M1 and this is where we're going to put this matrix. I show that in case you want to clean out the matrix, that's how you clean it out. So I choose edit, and um, but here I got three columns, so I want four columns. We'll see how to handle that. So I do two, enter, one, enter, negative three, enter. Now it goes down to the second row. I'm going to up, up arrow, come over here, and I'll go over to my fourth column, and I'll put in my negative six. Just by going over there and putting that in there, then that... Uh, resizes our matrix automatically for us. Um, let me see. Then I'm going to put in uh, 1, enter, 4, enter, negative 1, enter, negative 5, enter. Now I'm on my next row, and when I start typing in numbers, it'll create a new row for us. So you don't have to like insert or anything. So I do 8, enter, negative 1, Enter, 5, enter, and 32, enter. Now let me double check my numbers. That looks good. And I want to exit out, I just press home, like that. Okay, now we want to do RREF. So I'm going to click my toolbox. I want to choose the matrix menu, so I press 7, the number's in front of it. 
I want to choose RREF, which has a 3 in front of it. That stands for Reduced Row Echelon Form. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. And I remember I put this matrix in M1. So I'm going to type uh, M1. Um, so I'm going to do my alpha, where's M? Uh, plus or minus, there it is, and then 1. And now I press Enter. Okay, so what we came up with. One zero zero two zero one zero negative one zero zero oops stupid dog it's out there barking three it's my it's my dog <laughs> okay three equations three variables if we look at our first three by three square notice we have a diagonal one zero zero where else that means it worked. Um, our answers are over here. This will be X, and this will be Y, and this will be Z. The order of your answers here are the order of your columns. This was X, this was Y, and this was Z. So when we write this down, we'll have 2, comma, negative 1, comma, 3. Notice that's the same as what we came with, up with over here. The benefit of this is if I got more equations, more variables. If I got four equations, four variables, then REF works on all of them. Now let's look at number two. We got, um, I won't write the equation down again, but this is the one we're working with. So I want to write down the matrix that goes along with it. I'll drop my variables and equals and keep the numbers in their signs. So I got 1, negative 3, 1, 8, 4, 1, negative 2, 7, 5, negative 1, 3, and 4. Okay. Now let's go um, input this in. I should check my numbers. 8, 7, 4, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 1, 4, 5. That looks right. Okay, I'm going to go to my matrix. So I'm going to do Shift 4. And let me show, clean it out uh, completely and why, um, what it'll revert back to. If I um, press delete on this and click OK, and now go into edit. Now if we start typing our numbers, we do 1, enter, negative 3, enter. It assumes um, two columns. Well, that isn't necessarily what you want. I come over here, I put one in, enter, and then I do an up arrow. Come over here and put eight in, enter. So if you, if at all possible, don't clean it out. Go in there and edit what's there, because then you won't have to go to the extra bother. You can just keep pressing enter after each number. If you do this a lot, you probably want to have a set one set up for like a three equations, three variables, two equations, two variables, four equations, four variables, and so forth, if that makes sense. Uh, 4 enter, 1 enter, negative 2, not that it was that hard to up arrow, uh, 7, 5, negative 1, 3, and 4. Okay, let me double check all that. 8, 7, 4, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 1, 4, 5. Now I press my home to exit out. Now I could... Uh, up arrow twice and then just press enter on this um, since that's where I put my matrix was M1. But let me go through the steps again, help cement in where that's at. If I do my toolbox, choose uh, 7 for matrix, 3 for RRF, and then I'm going to type uh, M1. So I do alpha uh, plus minus, that's where the M is, 1, and then press enter. Notice we got decimals. We don't want decimals, but those are the same ones we came up with over here, we notice. To change those to a fraction, all we do is press our fraction button. And what we came up with then is 1, 0, 0, 42 over 29, 0, 1, 0, negative 83 over 29, 0, 0, 1, negative 59 over 29. Three equations, three variables. So our first three by three 
should be a diagonal one zero zero else, which it is. In a different section, we'll look at uh, how to identify the oddball cases. And this will be our X, this will be our Y, and this will be our Z. Again, it's in the same order as you put your columns. We put our X values first, Y values second, Z third. If I had flipped around these columns, I'd flip around my answers. So and we put parentheses around it. So we got 42 over 29, negative 83 over 29, and negative 59 over 29. And that's our answer. That's how to use your HP prime to solve uh, system equations, three equations, three variables, by matrices.